I'm going to chop up some chop up some bok choy that I already washed. So then you can be your own. Um, yeah, you can choose to to put whatever vegetables you might be interested. In. Also, the most important I think ingredient that um, with dumplings that sets it apart from other um, uh, food Chinese food um, is dumpling wrappings and. When I make this at home with my children, um, depending on how much energy I have, when I'm not too tired, I actually tend to. Where's my thing? Yeah. So I would make a I would make a dough, um, and then I roll it up, uh, and then make it a really thin uh, wrapping, and I use that and um, to to make dumplings. But to save time today, so we all end this meeting with some food in our tummy. I think that's pretty important, so that's the goal. So I have, I have, if you want to, you can actually play with this. I can pass this around so you can take a look at, at these. Okay, pass around. It's okay, we're not gonna use this. Uh, I don't think we can use all of them. So you can show the camera what, 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 <laughs> what the tumbling wrappings are. So it's basically flour and water and maybe, you know, in, in the factory they might put some other things to make it nice and flat and, and, and ready to use. Uh, uh, once we, we get our hands on uh, wrapping some of our dumplings, I will show you how to use the dough that I have prepared to roll out some, some dumplings, um, homemade dumplings. Thank you. So, um, who knows how to wrap dumplings? I need a, a volunteer to come help me. Who can help me? <laughs> if you have already done it before. Have you done it before? <laughs> okay, so let me let me show you. Um, so there are two, shape, two different shapes um, that you can find in the store. Um, and I like buying both of them because, you know, uh, different shapes make different uh, types of numbers. Which one are you familiar with? You, like, you want this one? Okay. I think she can make better than this one. I am looking for a spoon. Oh, that's the bowls. I'm looking for a spoon. Oh, no, nope. not there. Spoon. Rotted spoon. No, like a little spoon. Oh, no. Sorry. And you're all going to watch this, right? Can you so you're never going to do the same. how much I want to put in the okay. so at home what I did is I forgot about to, uh, to talk about the marinades so what I did at home is I bought a pack of meat like this one uh, I lied because I didn't use pork for this one I used turkey but this is pork um, what I did is uh, there are a few ingredients that you may I mean I guess I will I will write everything down and then I'll send an email to Miss Harrison so then you can go home and make this. So very simple, salt. Um, I can't find my sugar, but sugar, sugar. Um, so salt and sugar, I think they they friends, they complement each other. You put a little bit of salt to bring out bring out the flavor of the meat because then you can taste it. But but. But uh, sugar kind of balance the the saltiness and and the, the the meat and bring out the flavor of the meat. Um, another thing that I put in my dumplings is um, white pepper powder, white pepper, and uh, cinnamon. Especially with pork, I find that it brings out the flavor of uh, pork. Uh, so I like to use cinnamon. Um, also, um, soy sauce and sesame oil, okay? This is something else. Okay, so that's the meat that I prepared that has all the ingredients that I just um, told you about. And what, what I'll, 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 I will share a spreadsheet with you with all the, with all the precise amount of ingredients you, you want. I don't want, I don't think you want to talk about that right now, but we're gonna, are you ready to wrap some dumplings? Okay. 
So, so once we have the meat ready and I have chopped up some vegetables, um, at home I like to separate them. I like to put the meat on and then I scoop some uh, veggies on my dumplings. But to save time, I mix everything today so that you can just one big scoop and onto your dumplings and we can wrap it. Is this good? Okay. Something else that I need, could someone get me a little bit of water? That's uh, vinegar. Can you get me some water? So, so think of wrapping dumplings, and I feel like in uh, other cultures, they are um, practice that's similar of, um, to making dumplings. Uh, I can think of what empanadas, you know. Uh, so, um, with the dumplings, think of it as a piece of paper. Um, you're trying to wrap it in, but you need to you need to have something to hold it in place, right? So our glue is water. So thank you for getting us water. Is this too much meat? Okay. So do you want to show us how to wrap dumplings? We can do it together. You need to use some glue. So I would say to start, you can put just a tiny bit in the middle so it's not like exploding, you know. And then with the circle one, what you want to do is go around and put put glue on it, like well, water on it, half, half of the dumpling. And then if camera can zoom in, Basically, you press and you fold until you get that. And then you kind of dress it up and then it sits nice and well like that. And for the really advanced dumpling um, making people like grandma, she can probably do like, I don't know, 20 here. I can only do five. Well, I can do more, but yeah. For the sake of, sake of demonstration, this is my dumpling. And that's my first dumpling. How is yours? So she just show us how to make dumpling another way, and it worked just fine. Um, it just looked different, and you know they they both beautiful. Don't you agree? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do with my plate? Yeah, we're gonna put it here. And my I'm gonna get my friend to help me. If you just put a tiny bit of flour on top so they don't stick together. So my suggestion is if you make it at home. You sit down, you lay out all your ingredients with your family, you assemble your dumplings. Chances are there's some kind of wetness when you, you know, when you're touching vegetable, touching different things. By the time your dumpling is done, I suggest that you, you put some flour on your plate. So when the dumplings sit next to each other, they tend to stick together. Yeah, and, and it, it, it can get really messy. So are you ready to make another one? Do you want to make one? No? Okay. So I, yeah, it will be a turn. So now, can I show you how to make it with a, uh, with a, uh, this square. is a square, I guess. <laughs> okay. This is a lot more than I wanted it to be. Okay, so with the square one, you, I don't think this is a perfect square. Somebody tell me, but if it's not, one, uh, you want to put glue on the long side, is my suggestion, because that will give you more room to work with your dumpling. So you fold it like this, okay? And then, I need to see how I can. So then you put a dot of glue here, and then you bring this guy over here, and then you say hello, and then you press it together and make a dumpling. But what my kids sometimes forget to do, let me think, I think, my daughter, what would she do? I don't know. Somehow, if you don't wrap it like this, it will, it will, it will come undone, and then it won't, it won't sit. So, and at the back, you kind of want it this side to cover it a little bit so nothing comes out. So this is another way of making dumplings. So just now we show you three different different ways to make dumplings. Is that easy enough? You think you guys can handle it? Yeah. So what I suggest is, if you want, I think I grab, I have enough 
plates. Um, I would take a plate. I have more plates. Where are the plates? Can you find me some plates? Um, each person grab a plate. Grab um, maybe a few. I would say, how about you start with two, one of each. That you get a dumpling wrapping. Get actually don't get meat on on your plate. Put I would do this. Can I get a plate? So what I would do, use this as uh, your your clean surface, right? Use it as a clean surface. Everyone grab a dumpling wrapping. You can come over here and grab some. And you guys could use Oops. this table. Right. Back up, back up. Yeah, and Eleanor, did you? Eleanor, it's a good time to do an extra yeah. shot. Eleanor, did you have one to wash your hands? Do one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah. And then you can ask you a question as you are as they're like, you know, yeah, making everything. And Ms. Kelsey, can you provide them with some glue, maybe a cup oh, yeah. of water? Okay. Yeah. Everybody wash your hands, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Everybody's welcome to make their dumplings. We're just here to have fun. And try to capture the kids' faces. Yeah. Anyway. I'll try my best. <laughs> so, um, I guess once you have them ready, I would come if you want to. Can you find me another bowl so I can chop up some bok choy and give them some bok choy to eat? You should make a lay. You should put your back right down this way. There's the sink over here. That might be sloppy. The sink over here, it has some a lay. Hello. You will soon find out that they have to close. This might be a little bit more than you can handle. Because another thing is, dumplings wrapping seems to be pretty strong, but at some point, they won't yeah. take it. No. They will burst it's open. Too <laughs> 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 I, I, I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, it's actually fine. Good. Make sure you put your name here. Right in the middle. So you have space. Yep. Yeah. Give it back. Once we have some dumplings, well, can I start cooking? Maybe yes, yes, yes. four, yeah. How many of you can stay until five? Uh, How many can stay until five? You can raise your hand. How many of you can stay until five and help us clean up? Okay. So Miss Matt, keep your hands up. Just raise your hands if you can stay until five. 
I'm not worried about the plane. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want them to enter just, the whole thing. Okay. Okay. So who wants to uh, me to show you one more time how, how to go that number? Okay. So I'm on your side, right? You pretty much do what the logo do, right? But instead of uh, pressing it down all the way, all at once, you press a little bit and then you fold. And then you press, and then you fold, and then you press. And then these guys are like, I wanna come out. No. <laughs> fold and press. And then I feel like the last part is pretty important to make it like pretty. You kind of pinch it together. That's how it looks. You want me to show you one more time? Who got the square one? <laughs> did I do it right? I don't think so. No, I think he did it, right? Yeah, I think he did it. I thought I did it. Yeah. Did I do it both ways? You laughed. Well, you know, Miss Jenny, I'm, I'm curious. Well, what? I did it. And if, they, if, you, if you're happy with your dumplings, just kind of roll it in the flour a little bit, uh, give some room, and then let it sit there. I think one trick. I don't know if my mom would agree with me. If you let it sit a little while, it firm up a little bit, it's easier to fry. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, it's like, eh. <laughs> you know, it's too soft. Oh, 